Hello there. Now we are going to see regarding web service calculator, uh, web service for calculator creation regarding. So for that we are going to make use of the NetBeans software. So let us select the NetBeans software over here. So now we are opened with the NetBeans software for creating the web service calculator we have to follow the following steps select file we have to select new project option so in the categories we have to select java web in the project side we have to select web application choose next button project name give us web service I'll see. You can see the project location over here. The location is D drive grid and cloud computing is a folder name where we are storing our project. Select next button. No need to change any of the options over here. We, we have to make use of any of the existing web service softwares. That is already mapped over here using NetBeans. That is also one of the added advantages of using NetBeans. So click next button. In the frameworks, we are not going to make use of any of the frameworks. So click finish button. Now our project will be created and loaded over here. And you can see in the projects window, the web service can see what we have created. So you can click in the plus icon over here for getting down the options. So we have to create a web service first. So we have right now we have created a project in the NetBeans. After creating the project, we have to create a web service. For that, we have to select web service, right click the web service can see and we have to select new and we have to select web service if this web service option is not available here right now then what we have to do is we have to go for other option so from the other option also you can able to select the web service since it is already available here let us choose the same option that is right click new web service Give the name for our web service as Calci Web Service. Calci Web Service. And we have to give any name for our package. Let us give the package name as com.example. And we have to check this option button that is create web service from scratch should be selected over here and click the finish button now you can see a folder named web services is created already you can navigate through here what is the web service created that name will be displayed over here what we have to do is we have to add the operations what we want to perform the mathematical operations using our calculator. So right click over here. There are two methods for performing the calculator operations. Either directly type the codings in this code window or using the option also we can able to create the operations. So we have to create for implementing the calculator we have to create simply the four options that is addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. We are going to uh, create only these simple operations for our web service calculator. So we are considering only these four operations in our project. Let us add those operations one by one. So for adding those operations, right click the Calci web service, select the option add operation. <coughs> Now we will be displayed with the add operation window. We can give the operation name in the name box over here. 
what is the written type also we can able to choose let the written type be a string itself what are the parameters we want to make use of we can add let us add the parameter one by one by clicking this add button we have to pass two numbers as input let us have our number variable as i here let us have our type as float likewise add another one variable j select the type as float only two uh, operands we are going to make use of for this simple calculator so let us uh, both of them are getting added over here select ok button now you can see this particular addition operation is added over here so in the addition operation we have to modify the existing codes you can see over here so what is the answer we have to get is the result should also be a float since we are going to pass only the float as an input over here let us assign the result as result of our addition as res variable and we have to add the values of i and j over here and what we have to do is we have to return this value what value we have to return is this return type is you can check here return type is string so we have to convert the float into string form so we have to give the we have to make use of the method that is float dot to string of result so this one we are going to return the coding is complete for the addition operation so for checking this one what we have to do is right click this galaxy web service and we have to select test web service so before performing this one we just run this file one. Uh, we have to deploy this web service also so we have to select the project and we have to select the deploy option first we have to deploy our project proper then we have to run our web service so this deployment is for making the server web server to be run and getting ready for accepting our input so this deploy operation you can see here the server is getting started and ready to accept the connections you can see over here. now it is getting ready so now you can test this web service by right clicking over here and click this test web service option now we can see we have we have two operations one is addition another one is hello we no need to have this hello operation only we have to do addition operation let us have the sample execution of addition operation here so after typing the values press the enter key now you can see you will get the what is the method we have invoked and what are the values we have passed as input and what is the return value we are getting what is the request we are passing over here as a soap request everything will be displayed as a output so what we have to do is we have to remove that hello operation and we have to perform the we have to add the operations for subtraction multiplication division so let us do that one add operation subtraction i here we have to select float 
add j here we have to select float add operation multiplication select add give the variable name i and j and give the type as float select ok similarly for division operation also division add i type as float add the variable j type as float and select ok we have to delete this hello operation so let us right click Design. While you are clicking the design option here, you can see the operations what we are added. Hello operation is the default operation which will all already loaded. So let us delete this one. I'll select this one and select the remove operation. Press yes. Now you can see only four operations have mentioned. Let us go for coding over by clicking the source. Here we have to make the changes according to the operations what we have mentioned over here. Just to copy the contents and paste over here. So this is my subtraction view minus. Similarly for multiplication paste over here give multiply for division paste over here give divide operator so we have to save the content after saving right click the project and select deploy you can see the successful deployment by seen over here build successful you will get now we have to select the calci web service right click on the calci web service select the test to web service option you can see all the four operations already we have checked for addition let us check for division press enter key you can see the result over here similarly for subtraction press enter key. You can see the result. Similarly for multiplication you can see the result. Finally let us check with the addition also. You can see the result. So for all the answers we are getting the SOAP request as well as SOAP response. And Whatever the method invocation we have done, everything will be displayed over here. This is our actual output. So if you want to view the WSDL file, you can select over here. So this is our execution for our calculator web service. Thank you for listening.